Good morning. Good morning. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Wow. Easter morning. It is so good to be with you, even though we are far apart. My ears are ringing with the great Easter hymns of our faith. My heart is filled with joy for the knowledge that the stone has been rolled away, that the message of hope and good news is for all eternity. I miss you. I miss being with you and praying with you and singing with you and laughing with you. But we are one. We are one in the body of Christ. We are together as the body of Christ, even though we are apart. I've tried. I've tried to be intentional these last few weeks in keeping these meditations simple. I hope you found that to be helpful. Messaging about remembering gratitude, even in the midst of darkness. Messaging about <clears throat> how we are called to be theologians, as well as school teachers or retired folks whether we ran businesses, we are called to be people who think and reflect and speak about the Word of God, theologians, because the body of Christ is big. And now, more than ever, a voice needs to be heard. That messaging of hope and good news, of unshakable promise, of the reality of God's reign, God's kingdom, even and especially during dark days. Because we cannot sequester good news. It cannot be hidden. Because even though our sanctuaries are empty, so is the tomb. And that's the message for today, and I'd like to underscore that with the version of the resurrection as recorded in Matthew's Gospel. After the Sabbath, as the day of the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. As he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him took hold of his feet and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers and sisters in Galilee. There they will see me. The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. As the waters have washed over us, dear Lord, as the dark night has passed, we come to you in the brightness of a new day and the dawn of a new beginning, filled with resurrection hope, reminded of a stone rolled away and of a message pure and simple, that we are loved, that we are called to go and tell. May our joy this day run with us for all the days to come, 
In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Again, it is so good to be with you. It is so good to worship. I hope you've enjoyed the musical selections I've been picking over the last few weeks and that today, of all days, our voices are raised with joy and hallelujahs, with amen and thankfulness. Because like all days, they follow night, and I've been thinking a lot, an awful lot, of that transition from darkness to light. And as a good friend and colleague reminded me just a couple of days ago, that first Easter, that very first Easter morning was dark and scary with all sorts of confusion. Once again, it sounds like the messaging we are living in today. Because we know that Easter has come, but we also know that the pandemic has not left. We know that darkness and scariness and confusion is a part of the living of our days. But Easter tells us it is not the victor. Easter reminds us of a promise born of eternity. Easter reminds us that the tomb is empty. That we have a new identifier for our lives. A risen Lord. A message that cannot be held back. So often, so often it's hard, isn't it, to find words. It's hard in days especially like these to find language, especially when we're apart what to say, how to share it. And yet, the story of resurrection, the message of good news, of life eternal, is one that lives. It is a living word and helps us all to know that the gift of an empty tomb is the gift of language as much as anything else. We have a word of hope to share. In fact, as Matthew recorded it, Jesus said to the women, this is my message for you. This is the language for you to share. So go, run, tell of hope, tell of a new dawn, tell of light overcoming darkness. It is my prayer that we all find ways to use this language, that we all find ways to live it even while apart. A message, <coughs> pardon me, of hope, a message of good news, a language of peace, a language that reaches beyond borders, beyond maps, beyond color, beyond race, beyond ethnicity, and tells tells for all the world to hear that light shines, that God reigns, that we are named and loved. It 
It's a simple language. It's a direct message. Oh, how good to embrace it. Oh, how good to share it. Do so with those closest to you. Do so with those on your calling lists. Do so with neighbors and friends and strangers. Because this night will pass. The scariness will subside. The confusion will ebb away. And what will be left? Not empty sanctuaries. Not vacant hearts. But love shining brightly. Hope radiant. Thine is the glory, now and forevermore. Alleluia. Amen. Please join me in prayer. God of grace, you fill our lives with wonder. Forgive us when we forget that. You fill our lives with hope and joy and good news to share. May it be the language by which we live. May it be the words we use to express your love made real in this world, now and forevermore. Amen. Enjoy this Easter day, for we are resurrection people called to live a resurrected faith. In Christ's name, amen.